doing? Coming in, setting up for a finish. Gotta have a spectator coming in there away from the finish. All right, Joe Hour here with Florida Swim Network with our 11 and 12 winner, Kendall Brent. How are you doing? Uh, I'm tired. How was the race? It was 2000. How did you prepare for this? I just warmed up. I didn't really do anything. Just warmed up? How do you prepare during the season? Uh, I do practices every morning and every night. Every morning and every night? Like what? What, what type of practices? Uh, well, we swim for two hours in the morning and two hours at night. Two hours in the morning, two hours at night. Did you get thirsty or anything? It's, I know it's 2,000 meters, and I know you guys do um, four to 5,000 per practice. So did you need any water during it, or, or how was it? I got thirsty, but I didn't need anything. So what was your strategy? Did you just want to go hard from the beginning and win the entire thing, or did you draft off anybody? I drafted off um, the first place guy. <laughs> you drafted off the guys? <laughs> yeah. He went fast. Well, so did you touch his feet? Um, a few times, but when I touched his feet, he just went, so I was like, oh. He, he moved ahead of you a little bit? Yeah, a lot. Awesome. Are you getting ready for JOs or flags? Yeah. What, what team do you uh, swim for? Swim Florida. Swim Florida. Who's your coach there? Mac Kennedy. Mac Kennedy. I've known Mac for 25 years. That's awesome. Where is he? Is he here today? Um, no. He's at church. He's at church. Okay, good. Well, congratulations. Thanks for coming out. Thank you. See you at flags. Hello? Hello. How you doing? What's your name? Rose Smitty. Rose Smitty from the Gold Coast. Yeah. How you doing? Okay. Tired. Did Did you um? What place did you end up getting? Second. Second place. So, what was your strategy coming into this thing? Well, I just went out as hard as I could and did just you, sprinted all the way. Did you leech it all, or did you get on anybody's feet? And no, <laughs> I didn't. So you you come from a long swimming family. How many brothers and sisters do you have that swim? I have three brothers and two sisters and they're all swimming still or yeah well my oldest brother is just like swimming for exercise gotcha now tell the camera um what team do you swim for for and you swim in the gold coast what team do you swim for down there ak sharks ak sharks where is that it's in Pine miami Crest. oh Pinecrest area who's your coach coach lou coach lou manganello yeah you gotta be kidding me he started me coaching in 1990. He was my head coach, and I coached the little kids in 1990 at Miami-Dade Community College and with the Stingrays. So that's interesting. Tell, tell Lou, Joe Auer, <laughs> Joe Auer interviewed you. That'd be so cool. So anyway, so were you thirsty along the way? No, I drank a lot before. Gotcha. And what are you getting ready for, JOs or flags? I'm getting ready for the Southern Zone Championships. Where is that? It's going to be in North Carolina. North Carolina. Wow. Any other teammates going? Um, I don't know yet. I think Derek Chade is going. Okay. 
All right, well, thank you very much. Congratulations. And I'll see you at JO's, I think, or maybe even yeah. Zones. All right, thank you. <laughs> How you doing? Good. What's your name? Julian. Julian? Yes, Julian. What's your last name? Pinon. What place did you get? First. First. Now, you had all these girls. You had Rose leeching off of you. You had um, Kendall leeching off of you. Did it, did it feel heavy behind you? Oh, I kept looking back. I felt them touching my feet, trying to push me off. They're like piranhas. You couldn't shake the girls? <laughs> oh, <they're laughs> girls are tough at that age. Yes, they're yes. pretty tough. They're pretty tough. So what, did, what was your strategy going in? Going first in the beginning, trying to keep up and stay first the whole way. Yeah. So what, uh, what team do you swim for? Uh, Soflo. Where, where are they located? Uh, Pembroke Pines. Oh, Pembroke Pines. Who's your coach down there? Um, there's many different coaches, but I was coached with Coach Rose. I just, I'm actually unattached because I just joined the team. So, I was with B Broad Aquatic before. Now, when you're, when you're getting ready for something like this, how do you train for it? Do you come out to the ocean a couple of times? Um, are you just distance swimming in the pool? Uh, what do you do to prepare for this thing? I do a little bit of both. Um, you know, I just like, you know, listening to music. You know, just focusing, you know, maybe looking out of the ocean. Just thinking what to do the night before the race, and maybe you know also make practice before, like swim out. You know, be consistent. Yeah, be consistent. Have a good tempo in the water. Having that. Yeah. Now, um, you guys, you guys were out there um, um, working pretty hard. Uh, what do you think you guys were holding per hundred? Do you know? Uh, 115 meters. Yeah. Yeah. Did you feel a current? I know that we've been talking about a current all day. Yeah. One going and one coming. Did you feel any current? Absolutely not, because I just, I did, I like, when I swim, I just focus. I don't care if there's a current or not. You know? Thank just, you very much. I'm just happy I'm finished. Thank you very much. Thanks for joining us.